Hello, in this tutorial we are going to look at uh, creating code, or using code I should say, to create special shapes called fractals to simulate the way a tree grows in nature. There's lots of natural objects that have fractal shapes including trees, river systems, clouds, blood vessels, and even broccoli. Um, most often natural fractals um, are formed by they keep dividing into branches, which is how trees and blood vessels grow. So we're going to look at trying that out today. So we're going to start by deleting the cat. Uh, we're going to go up and add a new sprit here, and we're going to choose from the library. We are going to look for the ball. So just choose this ball, make sure it is clicked on and highlighted. My computer's a little slow here. Okay, and now what I want to do is I'm going to rename it. So click on the I, rename it Leaf. Now we need a few variables, so we're going to go into the data and we're going to make a couple variables here. The first one's going to be an angle. Second one we're going to make is length. And the third one is going to be shrink factor. Now we're going to add our script to our leaf. So we're going to start off with in the events tab and choose the when clicked. And I need to use the pen. So we're going to start with clear and pen up. Now we're going to set our size to 10%. So that will be found in looks and I'm looking for this one. Set size but change it from 100 down to 10 percent. And now we'll go back to our data variables that we created. Okay, I'm just going to uncheck those so they disappear off the side here. Okay, We're going to choose the set angle uh, to 30. So use the drop down here arrow and load put in angle and change 0 to 30. Drag another one over again, this time change the drop down to length and make this 90. And then we're going to set our shrink factor to 0 0.75 or 0, yeah, 0 0.75. At that point we want to choose a motion and we're going to have it go to a specific spot on our stage with an X value of 0 and a Y value. Oopsies. Let's just put that one back in here. So we're going to change the X value to 0 and our Y value to negative 170. So as you see these X and Y values changing, I would want my X at the center of the stage at 0 and my Y is going to be down here around negative 170. So it'll be somewhere in this area. And then we're going to point in the direction 0. So when you use the drop down, you can see that 0 means that it's going to be pointing straight up. OK, go back to your pen there. We're going to set the color. So we're going to choose set the pen color to, and this is going to start um, being, we're going to choose a brown because this is going to be like the tree stump, I guess you should say. So what we want to do is we want to click on this square and come on, open up. Okay, I'm going to come back to my square because it's being difficult. So we're going to set our pen size. Uh, here it is. to 9 and then we'll use put the pen down. Let's see if it'll let me click on my color now. Uh, 
Oh, okay. So here's the thing. So when you want to set the color, you've got to click on the square and then click on any color that has the color you want. There's not going to be a, a wheel that shows up. So if I want a brown, I can just go up and choose the brown from there. All right, now we're going to go back to our events and we're going to broadcast uh, a message and wait. So I'm going to broadcast, I'm going to create a new message and type in draw branch. Okay, then I'm going to choose my control. I need a repeating loop. I'm going to have this repeat eight times. And I'm going to broadcast another message, so back in the events. I'm going to broadcast another message and wait. This time I'm going to have it, uh, I'm going to have it draw branch, or sorry, split branch. So create a new message. Split branch. And in your data variables, we're going to set the length. So I'm going to choose this one again. Use the drop down for to choose length. And inside here we want to use an operator. So we want to choose the operator that is equal to. And now I'm going to put in those variables I made. So I want my length to equal my shrink factor. Okay, and I'm going to finish this off by broadcasting another message and waiting. Um, all right. So we have the shrink factor in here because each layer of the branch is going to be shorter than the one before it. And here, the repeating, this is so that each time the loop runs, a new layer of branches will grow. This draw branch here is going to draw the tree trunk for us. All right, now we're going to add a separate script. Uh, this one here is going to be when I receive the draw branch uh, message from the main script. So it's going to tell every clone to draw a branch and then change the setting so the next branch will be greener and thinner. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have a motion and we're going to move so many steps. We're going to move from our data variables steps in length. And then we're going to change our pen color and size. So we want to change the pen color by five and then we will change also the pen size to go smaller. So we'll put in negative one here. All right, now we're going to add the next script to make the branches divide. So it works by cloning each ball, forming a pair, and then rotating them to face different directions. So we're going to start by when I receive the split branch signal. So go back to your events, and this time we want to receive another message, but use the drop down to say when the branch, branch is split. split. Okay, with the motion tab, we're going to turn uh, a number of degrees. We're going to turn by the angle data that we created. And then we're going to create a clone of ourselves. So those are found in controls. And at the bottom here, create clone of myself. And then go back to your motion and this time turn the other way. We're going to actually use two of those. We want it to turn twice um, so it's ready to draw the opposite branch. So let's put in our data. Again, we want to drag an angle into both of those. And now we can run the project and you should come out with a tree. So you see that the leaves disappear and show only the twigs and if we want we can click the red stop symbol on the stage as as it goes as it's building okay so the shrink factor controls how much shorter each of these branches is in the previous one so it's going 75 percent smaller each time 
and the angle sets how far the branches spread apart at each split. So here they're spread apart wider, smaller, so it's slowly spreading each branch is splitting smaller and smaller. The length variable sets the trunk's length in each step. So as it turns the trunk a length, itself is getting smaller. So you can make your tree stand out better by changing the background color if you want, um, which you would just click on the stage backdrop and click on the paint there and you can use the paint bucket tool and fill in your, your background, choose one that you like. So you can play around with those. Uh, let's see, you can try experimenting with the value of the angles in the first orange block. So if I go back to my scripts here and I look at my angle in this first block, if I change that angle, I can also have it pick randomly, then my tree will, will be different. So if we want to try that, we can go in to the operator, choose a pick random in here instead. And let's say 10 to 45. And run your project again. You see that these branches now are a little bit different. And it will change your essentially your, your outlook each time just a little bit. So that's one thing you can do. Um, if you want, you can move the set angle block inside the repeating loop and the angles between the branches will change as the tree grows as well. So that one is, where is that one? Inside our repeating loop. So we've got the set length here we can add in a set angle block. So we can try that out and see what that looks like too, just for fun. So if we choose this one here and change that to angle, and again, we'll do a random, and let's just go 10 to 45 again. And click run. So now again, the tree is it's changing there as well. So you'll get different looks each time that way, which is kind of neat. Um, if you want to change the values of the length and shrink factor, um, you should be careful. It's, it's easy to end up with very short trees or trees that are too big uh, to fit on the stage. Uh, so if you, you could change the number in your repeating here, uh, which, let's just say if we only repeat it five times. Okay, you don't have as many branches. If you want a lot more branches, put in 15. So the amount of times that it's going to, to split up. Um, eight is the maximum to get all the tiny twigs drawn because it uses 255 clones. And Scratch has a limit of 300. So, um, yeah, you don't want to run out of, of clones there. So those are just some fun things that you can play around with to, to try to create interesting looking trees that you may want to use in a project. So enjoy and thanks for watching.